Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and finally Sparking Zero is out. By the end of this video, you guys are going to fully understand how to sway counter. If not fully, you're going to get the gist of it to a very good degree. So the first thing we have to do is actually go to our training settings and ensure that our dummy is actually attacking us. While doing this, I do advise you keep your dummy on hard or very hard. The reason for this is to ensure that the game is giving you something realistic that you could see in an online match. So first off, I use classic controls. This is because I came from Budokai Tenkaichi 3 all the way from the PS2 and I still played that game until this game was released. So on classic controls, perception is circle plus triangle. That is perception, circle plus triangle. So there are two ways to sway counter. So far, I know you can sway counter pre-hit and while you are guarding. So basically, pre-hit means pressing circle and triangle for classic controls, activating perception right as you're getting hit, not before getting hit and not after, right as you're getting hit. So you can basically equate this counter speed to vanishing. So when you'd want to vanish, you'd want to vanish right as you're getting hit. That is the exact same thing for the sway counter. You're going to have to press your perception for classic controls, circle and triangle right as you're getting hit. For people using standard controls, in training, they've given you guys your perception button. I'm going to assume, I'm not going to assume anything. You guys know what your button is. All you have to do is press that as you're getting hit. That is pressing it right as you're getting hit. That is one method. The second method is pressing it mid getting hit in your guard stance. So every other time where I've activated the sway counter is while I'm getting hit in my guard stance. So for example, I can be in my guard stance and I get hit twice. On the third hit right before it lands, I can press triangle as I'm holding my guard button which is circle and bam, my sway counter would activate mid getting hit. These are the only two ways I know and I feel like these, these are the situations you're going to be in most of the time where it's actually super benef beneficial to activate these. So yeah, that's it. As you're getting hit and while blocking, timing the attack just right. I usually do two attacks while blocking, then on the third, I press my triangle. It could be different for different characters, but most times it's on the third hit where I press triangle and the sway counter activates. So the clips in this video actually show me only blocking one attack before I sway counter. I guarantee you guys I have blocked two attacks and then sway countered in previous matches, which means that it's possible to block a couple of shots and then get the sway counter off as long as you time the next attack. The sway counter is solely based off timing. You need to activate it as an attack is incoming. I really hope you guys liked the video and learned something from this. If you guys have any more questions, put them down in the comments. I will be there to answer. Um, yeah, let me know what other tutorials to make. I'm here. I'm playing. I'm enjoying Sparking Zero to the fullest. Let's go. We finally got the game.